Recognize that glorifying Christ is the goal of life and everything else is secondary. The Westminster Shorter Catechism question number one asks, what is the chief end of man? And the answer given is that man's chief end is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. I touched on this also in my earlier video when I talked about John Piper's philosophy of Christian hedonism. Number two, stay active in your prayer life and in your Bible study. And understand that this entirely is separate from your sermon preparation. That doesn't count at all. Do not commingle personal growth and holiness with your professional and ministerial expectations. Number three, never forget that you are nothing more than a servant of the king. Praise God, the Apostle Paul gives us a wonderful example as he never lost sight of this. And he starts many of his letters in the New Testament with Paul, a slave of Christ. Number four, always, always, always stay accountable to people for your time, location, and actions. I highly suggest that smartphone users share their real-time geolocation with their spouse and never turn it off. My wife has me and find my friends all the time, and I do her. Number five, limit your travel away from home, especially travel that is without your family. And always remember that your first congregation pastor and your first responsibility for that matter resides within the four walls of your home. Number six, if you're a pulpit pastor with a home church that you serve in, limit your travel away from them as well. They need you at home. Number seven, make sure your elders and or deacons, depending on your expression, are not mere yes men. You want men with backbones and character who will call you on things if they see it. Number eight. Foster close friendships with other local pastors and understand that you are not in competition with these men. You both need like-minded brothers. You both need encouragement and accountability partners. And understand the unique challenges of full-time ministry. You need guys that understand that. This is a tough job. Most folks don't understand it, and those men do. And finally, number nine, as God grants your ministry increased success, set up increased safeguards to help protect you from the temptations of greed, pride, and sex. 